Meanwhile, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, was absent at the signing of the peace accord in Abuja. He is said to have jetted out of the country to the United Kingdom. However, his ruling mate, Kashim Shatima, and APC's national chairman were present at the event. Speaking, the chairman of the National Peace Committee and former military head of state, Abdusalami Abubakar, appealed to the 18 political parties, their presidential candidates and spokespersons to commit to issue-based campaigns as fake news and misinformation are already creating a toxic environment capable of threatening the peaceful conduct of the 2023 general elections. Some members of the National Peace Committee at the program included Bishop Hassan Kuka, John Anoikon, John Momo, Aliko Dangote, Al Haji Saad Abubakar, and the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, among others. Presidential candidates at the event included Labour Party's Peter Obi, People's Democratic Party's Atiku Abubakar, New Nigeria People's Party's Rabiu Konkoso, Omoyele Shore of the African Action Congress, among others major concern that have the potential to negatively impact on the integrity are emerging. One of such issues is the spread of fake news. Thus, fake news and misinformation continue to pose a significant threat to 2023 uh, general elections. I'm told already the fake news have also declared the winner so far, even before the election. It has shifted focus away from the issue-based campaigns and created the platform for political parties to resort to name-calling, personal insights, and character assassination. Furthermore, it has taken away our civility and decency in public discourse and conversations and created a toxic atmosphere that has the potential to incite citizens against the state, against other political parties and candidates. It is for this reason that the National Peace Committee has organized the signing of two peace accords for the 2023 general elections. We are witnessing activities by political actors that don't do justice to the process. That is the unacceptable the labor of vote buying. Now we are aware of the capacity of this process to undermine the entire project of democracy. Yes, Nigerians are poor. Yes, Nigerians are, are suffering, but none of that is a substitute. And politicians must not em, em, exploit the weaknesses of our people in the way a manner that has made vote buying part of our culture. We hope that with the penalties already spelled out by in the chairman of INEX speech and the IG, that those who compromise the process will face the wrath. 148 days. Political parties, candidates, and their supporters are free to traverse the country holding meetings, rallies, processions, and door-to-door -door campaigns. They will grant interviews, sponsor indoor and outdoor advertisements, and publish other campaign materials. This is often a period, very delicate period indeed, characterized by excitement and anxiety. In line with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022 and in our determination to play our role as regulator, the Independent National Electoral Commission will vigorously monitor compliance to ensure that parties shun abusive, intemperate or slanderous language as well as insinuations or innuendos likely to provoke a breach of the peace during the electioneering campaigns. Similarly, the Commission will also closely monitor compliance with the limits on campaign spending 
as enshrined in the Electoral Act. On our part as the lead agency in the election security process, I assure all political parties, the citizens, and the international community of our firm determination to synergize with INEC leadership of, of INEC leaderships of all political parties at all levels, civil society organizations, the military, intelligence community, and other security agencies and all other strategic stakeholders in guaranteeing a peaceful electioneering campaign engagement by all political parties towards delivering a credible 2023 general election. In furtherance of this, we have commenced a set of actions to sensitize the political class on conducts that could pitch them against the law as the electioneering campaign commences.